Hi there, I'm Tracy Carruthers, your executive coach to a leadership state of mind. Here's a clue you can use to access clear, effective thinking. Recently, someone told me she'd been led to believe that the word intuition may not be effective in a business environment, especially in a leadership training context. I thought of all the super great mega leaders who've launched extraordinary careers and businesses on little else. Often you have to rely on intuition, Bill Gates. And of course there's Oprah who counsels that intuition will tell us what's good for us. Not to mention that covers everything from food to relationships and jobs and business decisions. And besides, even if Bill and Oprah didn't endorse it, I know about intuition from personal experience. I know the powerful Eureka feeling, that retrospective something told me voice of wisdom that I now recognize in the moment. That instinctive, clear awareness that propels me to work a plan, seek out trusted partners to fill my voids, and believe I can access every innate capacity I need to get it done. But I'm getting ahead of myself here. So let's say you're in the midst of a whirlwind. You're a little crazy, distracted, and stressed, maybe angry or so frustrated that you can't think straight, and you feel off balance. And then you hear this innate default system, your inner voice, your servant saying, get a grip, think, there must be an answer here, a way to make this work. And if you act on that voice, you might take a breath or a break, clear your mind, and connect to some options or even solutions. Not just a good idea. Plenty of good ideas out here. Not just a conviction, some opinionated, ego-driven must-do. I'm talking about accessing something that you know, that you feel deep down intuitively. Now suppose you could learn to have faith in your capacity to access that voice and that it would never fail you, that you could trust it always to lead you to clear, effective thinking and wise and timely decisions intuitively. Yes, there's the power of organized thought and common sense and critical thinking and analysis and, and, and all innate capacities available to us at all times, even the crazy times, and we are innately programmed to access all of that wisdom, to access at the very least what some might call informed or strategic intuition. But no matter how you frame it, sometimes all we have is our intuition and that's good enough for me. Let's ask Bill and Oprah. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Until next month, remember to listen deeply and see if you can distinguish your intuitive voice. More clues are waiting for you exclusively. Take care.